Hi there, this is Catherine. Thanks you for listening to my SEO Tips micro podcast. So before we get into today's SEO tip, I just wanted to share with you the ways you can support the podcast if you're enjoying all the tips and finding them useful. So you can send me a donation at buymeacoffee.com slash Catherine W. Ong, O-N-G. And that's Catherine with a K. Any and all levels of donation are appreciated. It will help me offset the cost of producing the podcast. So that's buymeacoffee.com slash K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-W-O-N-G. I'd also encourage you to subscribe to our email list to make sure you're not missing any future episodes or any other news about the SEO Tips podcast. And to do that, you'd go to wostrategies.com slash newsletter. Okay, on with today's tip. Okay, today's tip is about YouTube. Hello, and thanks for listening to SEO Tips today. So most of this tip comes from this super informative CaliCube Tuesday interview with Tim Schmoyer from Video Creators. And here are my crib notes that I'm going to share with you. So I think the most insightful bit was when Tim answered this question, should you ask for subscribers? And can you get subscribers with your video strategy without directly asking for them? And he started off with a quick reminder. So YouTube looks at the following related to your video. Uh, in relation to its performance. What is the video watch time? How does this video contribute to the overall viewing session on YouTube? How satisfied do your users feel at the end of the view session? And then YouTube measures this with how likely your viewers are to come back to YouTube like the next day or with a satisfaction survey that they've been running to YouTube users. But here is the real eye-opening nugget, at least for me. At the end of your video, and this is not rocket science, but when he explained it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know why I think of that. At the end of your video, you want to make sure that you don't give the user any signal that your video is almost over as that would impact your watch time. You want them to keep watching your video and your videos, plural, or videos in general on YouTube to extend their overall YouTube session time. So this is what they recommend. At the end of your video, use the end screens while you're still delivering value. So quickly give a 10 second pitch for the next video you want them to watch or playlist and link to that in the end screens and say, I'll see you in the next video, but do not say goodbye. So Tim from Video Creators sees a normal click-through rate on end screens of about 0.7%. And he has seen with some of his clients with this approach that some of them get a click-through rate as high as 42% on that end screen link. So They also answer the question, so what if your next related video is not actually published? So here's his recommendation. Do a verbal and the visual call to action just like before, but on the screen, put a coming next Thursday note in that end screen box. And then when the video is published, put it on top of that same end screen box with a link to that video. Um, And he was asked about the uh, YouTube best reviewer option on end screens, but Uh, He hasn't seen it um, develop as high as uh, results as a verbal pitch and picking something strategically. So if you can put up somebody else's video, so if you don't have enough of your own, as long as it's relevant and it increases the YouTube reviewer session, that's great stuff. It totally works. So anyway, that's your tip for today. Don't say goodbye to your YouTube viewers and instead entice them to watch another video by saying something like, I'll see you in the next video and link to that video in your end screen totally brilliant. Anyway, thanks for listening. Come back tomorrow for another SEO tip.